Hi, I'm Bill Miller, and today let's talk about dessert wine. So for me, I'm not a big fan of food desserts, but I am a big fan of libation dessert wine. Um, but how do you get to this point? So I've got a couple tips to uh, get to the point where you deserve a little dessert wine. It's by getting along with your family at Thanksgiving. Um, don't talk about uh, what you really think of them. Don't bring up decade-old secrets. Um, but most importantly, I may need to stop doing this myself, paying small children to interrupt me when I'm in an adult conversation because I want to get out of it. Um, oh, and most importantly, don't say the words, how about that election? Okay, so we're going to start off with the Centauri Moscato. See, I switch it again anyway. So a little bubbles. Fantastic. There's uh, peach, apricot. And you know, I sometimes drink this as a dessert wine, but uh, Obviously, many of you drink it whenever you'd like to. And the reason why dessert wine is because where I'm going with this is that sweetness is kind of a palate cleanser. So you've had all that food, and then once you drink something like this, or any of these really, that sweetness really kind of cleans the palate, and you can just go to anything. Um, on the, uh, the flavor, again, that apricot, um, that peach comes through. Um, pretty delicious. And I, for 11 bucks, I think it's fantastic. The next one we're going to go to is the Derenberg Riesling 2000. Uh, now, I don't even know if we have any of this. And one thing with these... Um, tastings that I do, we may or may not carry them. I just pick them because I like them. So Derenberg um, started making these a while ago, and this is off of their uh, Boitrous uh, grapes, which basically freeze on the vine. So this is a Riesling. Almost a sherry component to this. Cherries. Um, if you've ever had sherry right along those lines, um, this is just fantastic. You're getting a lot of uh, flavors with this, and it's lingering on and on. Um, I, this is, I think, ran about 20 bucks or something like that. Fantastic. And with this one, it's just not the sweetness. There's also a dry component to this. So the balancing between this and the acid is just fantastic. They've done a really nice job with that which is why I like it. Um, I think the current vintage, 2011, um, the one thing is these age really well. So now we'll go with Kopke. Um, I love these guys. They 10-year tawnies. Uh, I went with the 20-year because I'm familiar with it. I like it. Uh, and if I've gotten along with my family really well, I'm just going to sit back, relax, and sip this and know that I've done a great job. So the nose is uh, a caramel. A lot of butterscotch, maple syrup. Um, and the part that I always wait for, if you give it like really five seconds, one, one thousand, one, one thousand, two this nuttiness comes from the back of the mouth and it's just absolutely fantastic. So there you go. Um, this, this tiny bottle, the one thing, I mean, I think it's like 30 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, 375 milliliter. You don't have to drink this all. It will keep for weeks. So um, 
there you go. This is Dessert Wines. Congratulations if you've made it to that point and have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you.